anytime I can go shopping at the drugstore and find new makeup, I'm in heaven. Let's get into all kinds of fun new makeup that I have found recently at the drugstore. All right, so you know this is not necessarily just new makeup that's hit the market. It might be just new to me. So maybe some of you have seen these things before. And if I talk about them and you know about them, make sure that you let me know in the comment section, yay or nay, whether or not you liked them, whether they worked for you or whatnot. But I love drugstore. You know that I'm the drugstore queen. I'm always wanting to find good makeup that is at affordable price. And that is what this video is all about. I do have a couple uh, that were really not good though. Just so you know, at the very end, I'll show you a couple that I'm really not liking. Let's get into a couple that Miss Tati just very recently talked about. I'm kind of glad that Tati's back. I know that she's really controversial to everybody, but you know, in the beginning, she was just about the makeup and I feel like she might've just gotten back to that and I kind of really am enjoying the new videos. I don't want to start a controversy or anything about Tati because, you know, my channel is not about controversy. If you watch her, great. If you don't, great. It's totally your preference. So Wet n Wild, um, she talked about this Impossible Primer Base. This is silicone free, but it does it all, it says. So I do feel like this is a very different primer than anything I've ever seen on the market before. In a silicone primer, that's what usually fills in your pores and gives you more of a smooth look. And also, it creates a really strong barrier between your makeup and your your moisturizer. And that's what primer does. It helps that foundation stay on and not get, you know, sink into the skin. This does the same thing. It smooths the pores, helps your texture out, but it goes on almost like water and I don't know how it does it. I don't know what it does, but it is a nice primer. It's hydrating, feels very hydrating, but it smooths out my texture and my makeup stays on longer with it. I don't know how it does it. And it is just such a strange texture. It comes out like a silicone. So it, and it actually just fell. Oh my goodness. Okay. It comes out looking like a silicone, like it's, you know, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it, but when, as soon as you swipe it, it's sinking into your skin and it feels watery. I don't know what it does, how it does it, anything, but I like it because in the summer months, I feel like I get too heavy with my makeup, especially with hot flashes. I just, anybody that sweats, anybody that has hot flashes, that kind of thing, you feel like your makeup can be too much. With this, I feel like it's just right. So I really am enjoying that. Weird, I don't know what it's all about, but really I'm enjoying the impossible primer because I feel like they couldn't possibly do that with a primer unless they had silicone. Okay. I also picked this up from Physicians Formula from their Rose All Day. This is the Set and Glow. Really surprised at this. Number one, surprised they called this right here, which is the big pan with the rose on it. So pretty, right? I'm surprised they called this a setting powder. This is not a setting powder. To me, this is a highlighter. It reminds me so much of the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter because it does have that little bit of a light glow to it. Now, if this were mixed with a regular powder and pressed again and put in here, I feel like it would be a dupe for the Becca um, lighting powder, light shifter powder that I rave and rave and rave about because it does set your makeup. It has that same feel to it but it has that lighting property to it that the Becca does too. And it's not, I'm not like getting a ton up. Now I feel like if you put a brush in there, you get more, but I don't feel like it gets real heavy, real easy. And it's not real cakey. So I have been enjoying that. Not as a setting powder, like I said, again, just the top of the cheeks. And I wear this, surprise, surprise, on top of my blush, not under it, because it gives such a beautiful glow. Also, you know my trick about putting my powder underneath my foundation as a mature woman and it helping so much? This is beautiful for that because if you have a very flat foundation, this helps give that little bit of a glow to it. Love that for it. And then this right here, this is the balm and it is very balmy. I'll tell you the honest truth. I use this a lot on my lips to make my lips come to life when I don't have any gloss around, but it does have that balm texture to it. So if you're somebody that doesn't like that, 
everybody's talking about the wet look on the face and how pretty that is because it looks like very dewy very glowy skin and it's beautiful that is just gorgeous but if you don't like that tackiness on your skin you'd rather have the powder then you're not going to like this but i like it i'm really enjoying it and i actually have another one on my cheeks right now that um i can just go ahead and tap this across because even though i do have the other one on this one kind of matches with it but look it's so pretty it does give you a wet look to your skin but at the same time it just highlights with that wet or that balm instead of highlighting with any sort of powder so it's really a very natural look for somebody that's a little bit older i like the balm you know texture of these i did it when i first tried it because i was like this is like putting a lip gloss on my cheeks and at first i was like i ain't gonna do that and then as it went on and i had worn it a couple of times i'm like that is such a natural dewy look to my cheeks so i really have been enjoying this one and i probably should tell you guys what the name of it is <laughs> like i said it's set and glow and this one is called brightening rose so i think this is fun beautiful packaging they always do have a nice packaging but it has the two different compartments and then you also have a mirror there which is really nice and then you have your puff so that's really nice about it something else that i did try and i really like these little six pan palettes from essence i don't think there's very much product in here there goes my glasses but this is the taupe one i really love this little palette it's light enough for me. I think that's what it is. So if you're somebody that has very deep skin, you might not like it, although you might like these lighter shadows on your lid. You might not like this as well, but I love these mattes. These mattes are so beautiful. Look at that. No streaking, just glide. Oh my goodness. This I can make the prettiest taupe I look out of and I'm going to hit on some of these other ones in the other colors because I do know that they have a bunch of other colors and I just picked this one up because I wanted to see what the quality was before I went and got any others. I'm enjoying having smaller palettes in my collection lately. It seems like having those smaller ones, I can just like take this. I do my makeup a lot in the car with my husband, so I can just like take this instead of taking a whole big palette and two brushes and I feel like I'm done with my look and really like this. I do like the metallics in here as well. I don't feel like they show up any texture on my skin that is more mature and it's got a nice little mirror in there. You can kind of see that plastic packaging. I like the packaging too on those. I don't know how they do it when other companies charge like what, 30, $40 for something like that. But I love me some drugstore and that's what happens. Okay, I am wearing and I did pick up this lip liner from Rimmel that I love in addiction. I had forgotten how much, I had this before and I had forgotten how much I love this. I love the texture of these. They're super creamy. I love that they stay on all day long. I love that they give that definition. I was going to touch up my lips, but I don't know if I can do that and talk at the same time. They give that beautiful definition to your lips, but this is so creamy and it has like an angle to it in the, um, it's automatic, which is a bonus too, but it's so pretty. And this color for me is so nice. I love the color. It goes with so many of my nudes. It goes with a bunch of my rose colors. It's so pretty. Addiction. It's gorgeous. And then I stopped at Walmart the other day and I had heard Mandy Lee talk about this liner a million times from Profusion. It's just called Wing It. This has the smallest, I think, little felt tip that I've ever seen on a pen liner. It makes, oh my goodness, you can make the most fine line. You guys know how my hand shakes, so I don't make a super straight line, but look how tiny that line is. And it stays around and it's like $5 and it is better than any drugstore one that I have found so far. And I love drugstore and I have a few that are my ride or die ones, like the e.l.f. one, the H201, I love. This is so good. It stays on. It creates the beautiful, just really tight lining on my upper lashes that I love to do with black because I use a black mascara. Really am enjoying that one. Let me talk really quickly about my misses and then I'll round up with a couple of hits. So I got the Milani Most Loved Mattes. I actually haven't even stuck my fingers in here because this was so disappointing in me to me compared to that little gold palette that they put out several years ago this is all oranges and bright warm colors and 
personally that other one it had a, a range from very cool to neutral to warm colors and it was perfection and this is not and when i saw this on the website i thought this is going to be great because they're going to try and you know duplicate what they did in that original palette but no this is all very warm when i got it home it was so many oranges and even the pinks i can tell are going to have that orange cast to them they're going to be very um based in orange or based in warm colors and yeah, I'm not even going to even try that because I know for a fact that it will look so orange on my eyes and I will be just so disappointed in it. And then this one from LA Girl, I was really excited to get this. This is a tinted foundation. It says buildable natural finish. This one is not that great. You guys know I love LA Girl. I do think that they're a great company. Um, I think that all these companies are coming out with these tinted foundations because of what Fenty did. I do like Fenty's Ease Drops. I think they're great. I have been using those just so you know. I will probably put those in another video. But this one doesn't build up it, and it doesn't have a great texture about it. And uh, just a couple hours into it, I'm feeling like I'm needing to wipe my makeup off because it does look mottled and just did not appreciate this one. I felt like I had texture. I don't feel like it wore a long time on me and I do feel like it did oxidize on me very quickly. So that one was a no-go for me as well. Now let's just end on a very positive note. I got this blush from Shani Beauty on Amazon. It is partly what I'm wearing today. I did try another blush with it that was a powder, but I am in love with this texture. This is a very liquidy texture but, you know, some liquids really lose their pigment as you are you just kind of, you know, buffing them out or whatever. That one doesn't. And I thought I just put a drop out there. So I'm using this with a stipple brush right now. And I'm going in very light handed. Like I will, you know, do this across my hand and then I'll put my brush into it so I'm not getting too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And let me see if I can tell you what the color is. This says Epic Final. I don't know if that is the name of the actual blush from Shani. Wow. I am seriously in love with this blush. Dries down. Um, it takes a while, so you have some time to work with it, but it, you can buff it out or you can build it up. And yeah, look at what it's doing even over on my fingers over here. Love this stuff. I think it's great. It comes in a, like four or five colors, I think. So pretty. If you're looking for a really beautiful liquid blush that feels that it's kind of like a cream as far as its saturation, this is a great one. And then so I don't get that all over, I'm going to rub that off really quick. I'm going to end up with these. And this is another thing that Tati talked about on her video. But I had tried these in the past and I forgot how much I love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss. These are amazing. I have these on right now. I have had this gloss on for hours and hours. It really looks like a more of a just a sheen from a lipstick when you get them on. And I have two that are like toppers. So this is not going to change your lipstick very much. This one is called Suede and it's got kind of a golden undertone to it. And you can kind of see as I shift my hand, a little bit of a golden undertone there. And then this one is called Blush. I think. Hang on. Let me make sure. Yes, it's called blush and it has the pink shift to it. So you get either one, you know, either one you want there, whether you like the pink colors or whether you like the golden undertone, you can get either to put on top of your lips. But when you first put it on, it's really shiny and really, you know, just very gloss like, but then it does this dry down thing and you have it on for hours. And I'm not kidding. If you didn't eat I really think that you would have this on for close to six or eight hours. And the other thing is I can wear one of these to bed. That's actually what I've been doing to keep my lips really moisturized. And my lips will be moisturized in the morning if I don't, you know, smear it on my pillow or something. But it really is gorgeous. I love the texture of these. I'm going to venture out and try to do some more opaque colors. I'm not a huge opaque gloss fan, but this is such a hybrid hybrid between a long wearing liquid lipstick that sticks around a long time and a gloss that I have to try the colors on this. So I'm in love with this. I think that it's something that if you're somebody that doesn't like gloss because it just goes away too quick, but you really want something that makes your lips look juicier because as we age, our lips seem to shrink. 
Glosses really catch the light and make your lip look a little bit bigger. So that's why I love a gloss So if you're somebody that likes the idea behind a gloss, but you don't like how quickly it goes away try these They're quite amazing. I think they're very very beautiful and the fact that they stick around a long time really surprises me Oh, and if you're somebody that also has glosses that bleed outside the lines These don't because it's a little bit thicker and it does do this weird dry down thing without being dry there's no other way to really explain it. It's not a dry lipstick, but it's a dry lipstick. So I, I don't even know how to explain it, but they're beautiful. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy this. Please tell me in the comment section if you have recently seen anything in the drugstore on Amazon or what you feel is a great price point that I need to hear about and try out because I do love your recommendations and I go off them so much and then I get to bring them to everybody else, which is really fun. Thanks guys for spending a bit of your time with me. I love you so very much and I will catch each and every one of you in my next video, I hope. Take care. Bye my friends.